Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining me. My name is Carlos. Today we're going to be going over the second uh, leg session for the week, which is basically just a repeat of the first session with the exception of the heavy, heavy squats. So today we took special emphasis in the warm-up with the bicycle, with the uh, the uh, spinning spinning bike. Uh, 12 minutes, very just easy, try to get the knee you know working again warming it up and um, then from there we went to the walking lunges these walking lunges are extremely effective not only for the stretch uh, for the uh, opening up and stretching of the muscles to prime them for the heavier weights but they actually do build muscle so today we did a uh, long step uh, walking dumbbell lunge with around 35 pound no, I'm sorry, 25 pound uh, dumbbells uh, for about 40 steps. Very effective. Uh, from there, we went to the split, the Bulgarian split squats, which are probably the most effective isolation exercise for the quads and for the glutes. So uh, those exercises are also being progressed on. Obviously, the, the idea there isn't like to do extreme weights. I've seen these videos with these top bodybuilders doing like three, 400 pound walking lunges. I'd love to do them, but that's not the uh, program right now. We're just trying to get in a little bit of extra volume, uh, trying to pump and stretch the muscle and just get primed for some heavier activity. So from there, we went to the uh, barbell squat. I wasn't planning on doing squats today uh, and certainly did not hit any PRs or do anything special. Just just did a few reps, basically, you know, going from two place to three to three and a half, just to maintain the movement, to maintain the uh, the stimulus, uh, the continuity of, of doing the heavy weight. And uh, I, I didn't really have it programmed in, but I did them anyways. And then from there, went to the leg extension. Made a little bit of progression there. We're up to 140 pounds on the leg extension with um, 15 reps for two sets. Obviously, we can go a lot higher. There is an issue with knee strain. You know, you can strain your knee doing heavy knee extensions or leg extensions. So I think once we get up into the like 180s, 200s, we'll probably back it down and do isolation one leg at a time. Then from there, we went to the bench press. Today was incline bench. And I um, have to say that I no PR, no progression actually. With the top set, still at five reps with uh, 100 kilos. And um, I am thinking about changing something with this because the idea is to go heavier and we have not been able to uh, progress significantly. In fact, the rate of progress there is stalled. So what I did was a back off set with lighter weight and really did just uh, intensifying pumping techniques on the upper chest. And they work quite well. I mean, they do develop muscle, but you know, the purpose here is to develop strength first. But when that is not possible, guys, you know, when when you hit a wall in a in your routine or with your with your uh, session in your particular session, uh, there are some other tools that you can use to to um, to overcome the situation, right? And and to to get get some progress out of the session, get something out of it. So we backed off the weight and increased the reps and did a few pumps there. So that was okay. From there, we went to the uh, barbell curl, the Z curl, and had a slight progression, um, trying to maintain as strict a posture and form as possible. You know, no, none of this heaving stuff, even though on some reps there is a little bit more heave than others. The idea is to completely contract the arm and to isolate the arm and not get body momentum into it. A little bit of latitude there, uh, it does happen a little bit towards the, towards the last rep. So uh, started out with six reps and then last session was seven and today we're up to eight. But those eight reps felt a little bit easier than before. The weight is a little bit more manageable and of course this comes from just practicing with that weight, right? You know, so once we get into 10, 11, it's time to uh, move up with weight, but not yet. There we went to the dumbbell biceps curl. And we did have a progression on that. Uh, have been dominating the 40 pound dumbbell curls. So today we moved up to 45ers. We've been doing 12 reps for 40s 
and today going up to 45s could only do six. That's fine. That's great because next session, you know, we have something to strive for. Seven, eight, nine. All these are progressions. Each and every single rep that you can increase on your set is a progression. Granted, we would like to see a faster rate of progress, but it is what it is. And from there, we round it out with the calf training. Calf training? Did we do calves yesterday? No. Uh, no. In fact, that was it. That was basically it for, for the training session. Very low volume. Nothing special. Just another, another session to continue this progression in, in strength. And um, it is a very, it was a very important session because it will prime next week's workouts. So, you know, that's basically it. Uh, not every single training session uh, is, you know, neither magical nor, uh, you know, it's like the greatest uh, workout ever. But each and every workout is indispensable. It's, it's a, you know, it's another link in this chain for progression. How do people get really strong? How do they get big? Well, step by step. You don't just jump from here to here. You have to take it incrementally and once you you know reach a certain level you know those gains come slowly but they have to come gains must be uh, acquired by you know any method possible practically you know you have to do whatever it takes to make these gains and uh, what it is that what is it that I'm doing to make these gains possible well first of all stayed in a hypercaloric state eating more calories than I burn. So trying to gain body weight is fundamental in the pursuit of strength. Now you can gain strength going into deficits and, you know, eating suboptimally, but you know, that's not the idea. The idea is to make this thing a little bit easier on you, you know, so more calories, the better. <laughs> no, let me take that back. Uh, you shouldn't be eating, you know, excessive amounts of food. You shouldn't be like trying to build muscle by stuffing yourself, but maintaining a surplus, a moderate surplus, not like eating two, 3,000 calories over your, your needs. You know, 1,000 is way too much. I'd say like five to 700 calories is really pushing it. But then again, it depends on your metabolism. I'm, I'm kind of a hard gainer. It, it's hard for me to, to put on pounds. I'm not, you know, it's not easy for me to just build out and get fat or even build muscle or anything like that. It takes a while. So maintaining a slight caloric uh, surplus is what's needed. Besides that, um, you know, just the regular supplements that everybody uses in bodybuilding, not, nothing extreme or anything like that. And uh, what else? Ah, that's it. That's basically it for today. I don't have, you know, much to say about this workout. It wasn't really exceptional except the warm up and those dumbbell lunges. Every time I do those dumbbell lunges, I feel satisfied. I feel like I got uh, a tedious uh, exercise out of the way, one that's very important, and it actually does build muscle and really improves the physique. The other thing is you can't really neglect the glutes and can't neglect those body parts in the pursuit of strength. These are accessory muscles and are very important. So when you're going deep into the hole on a squat, that's where you need, you know, your glute power and your hamstrings and all of this. And if you neglect them, if you only do squats, you're, you know, you're, you're not going to build as fast as if you do these accessory movements. So I highly recommend doing the dumbbell walking lunges, the Bulgarian splits, and as always, warming up as, uh, you know, efficiently and as best as you can because you don't want to tear any muscles. You don't want to get hurt. And that's the other thing with these squats. You know, you can definitely make, uh, you can injure yourself, you know, your knees, your lower back and all of that. So it's very important to stay limber, stay warm and stay safe. Anyways, guys, God bless everybody and have a wonderful week.